So these are the new sketch brushes and the short video will be giving you a view of what each stroke does and maybe spark your imagination to the possibilities. I have pulled out each of the brushes here under a custom palette and I'm just going to go through them one at a time. So starting at the top, crosshatch brush. And this brush will simply give the ability to do some crosshatching kinds of to shade in your image or to build up some random textures. Kind of a nice brush. You can have adjust settings to it, of course, so you can make it longer. You can make it less opaque. There's all sorts of things you can do. So that is crosshatching brush. Now this is the diffuse pen. And these are all brushes at the standard settings. And this brush, like most of these brushes, is made to be able to give you the ability to do some sketching as you like. This is a brush that will diffuse into the paper texture that surrounds it. And of course you can adjust the color. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things you can adjust in this brush. It's kind of a nice brush, very quick. Uh, there's no lag with it. And that is the diffuse sketch brush. This is the draw dirty brush. And this is really kind of a brush that's supposed to emulate a dirty kind of felt tip pen and you're working with it on some very textured paper so it's kind of leaving dirty marks it's blobbing a little bit as you go nice nice brush to doodle with sketch with and that is the draw dirty brush this is the dribble brush and as you can see it's kind of like a very very leaky pen that dribbles out strong middle stroke and then ink paint whatever you have leaks off into the side of the brush so again very simple stroke these are simple brushes made for drawing and that is the dribble brush and this is the flex tip brush it's kind of a soft pen type brush possibly you could use it for doing some sorts of calligraphy work it's supposed to emulate a very soft metal nibbed brush that as you press harder, you get a little wider stroke. It's quite a graceful brush. It's still very good for drawing uh, any direction. Um, you can cross hatch with it. It is, it's a nice brush. I like this one a lot. So this is the flex tip brush. I'm going to skip the heavy blend brush because I need something to blend. So I'll come down to this mechanical pen brush. And this is a brush that nicely fades out. It does have a variable width, so it's a little bit mechanical, but the stroke is quite fine. Uh, it interacts with some texture. Uh, the particles in it spread out and move around. Nice brush. A lot of these pen brushes are just kind of nice additions to to your sketching tools. So this is the Mech Pen brush. And now the Heavy Blend brush. And this will, this will blend your underlying strokes. And it does it pretty heavy. Uh, the blend is in kind of a vertical linear fashion and it will follow or, or the direction that you are moving your pen. So as you can see, it uh, gives a vertical look and uh, that is the heavy blend brush. This is the paint splat brush. And so it's kind of like a pen you're going along with and you're moving it in random directions and it will build up and splatter the paint a little bit. As you increase the size, you'll get a more random kind of splat. It will paint light, dark, color, whatever you want. Uh, good for adding some of those background textures that you may not want to be uh, doing by hand. And it blends with the underlying color. So a nice brush to quickly lay in some backgrounds to add some random elements to a drawing. The next brush is the random line brush. As you can see, it's kind of a brush that draws multiple lines and they're each bit random from each other. So this is good for really kind of organic, free form kind of shapes. 
things that don't require uh, something real smooth. If you wanted to draw, well, I don't know, you know, rocks or, uh, you know, anything that's organic, trees maybe, this might be a really good brush to use. A uh, nice brush, you can scale it, you can change the color, of course. And I like using this brush quite a bit, actually. Uh, that is, oh, well, let's see, I'm going to make it a little bit larger so you can see. So even when you get larger, it uh, kind of interacts with the background. Looks a little furry, but it is drawing with multiple strokes. So that is the random line brush. The next brush is a rough blending brush, and this is kind of a stipple blender. So I've left the random line on there, and now I'm just coming in and blending. And you can see it picks up and scatters around the underlying colors that you have. In this case, it's picking up a lot of the gray and mixing that into to the black. And so it is really very random and good for covering large areas quickly. And that is the rough blend brush. The next brush is the rough line brush. And this is kind of a brush that is calmed down from the random line brush. So there's still some multiple strokes here, but it tends not to be nearly as crazy organic in the way it draws. If you draw fast with it, it's really quite smooth. And if you draw slow with it, you'll get a more random look. So uh, a nice brush to use because you can vary it uh, quite a bit just descending up depending on how you would like to draw. So that is the rough line brush. The next brush is the smooth line brush. And this is another really graceful pen type brush. It doesn't spread as much as some earlier ones. So it's a little better for controlled work. It of course will draw whichever color you want to use. This would be good if you were drawing, you know, some grass or you know, anything that you want some grace to. Nice brush to use, very quick, there's no lag with it, and that is the smooth line brush. The next brush is the soft stipple brush, and this is just what it does. It gives kind of a stipple effect, as if you were building up all these little tiny dots with the tip of a pen. And of course, the more you build up, the more you go over uh, your stroke, the thicker and denser the spots will become, and so you can kind of control it from very light to going continually over an area till you get very, very, very dark. You can, of course, resize the brush, and the spots become a little larger, real big, and you get nice big spots. So very, very flexible brush for adding some background textures to your work, and that is the soft stipple brush. The next brush is Spotty Ink, and it's just kind of what you would think. It's as if the metal-tipped, you know, the metallic pointed brush you're using is starting to wear, and it dribbles a little bit. So you get this kind of wet, gooey-looking line. I guess it could be a felt-tip pen that's leaking a little bit. Again, a nice brush for a specific type of art. Uh, you know, I don't know that I would use it for something graceful, but it's a fast brush. I like the line a lot. Very easy to use. Just pick the brush and start drawing. And of course, you can do all sorts of interesting things with it. Now, it won't go quite toward white because it is more of a wet type brush. You know, it will go toward color. And of course, it makes some very nice dark grays and blacks. And so that is the spotty ink brush. And the last brush is wet sketch. And this is really kind of a brush that spills around and puddles on the edges. So as I go a little lighter, you can see it starts to puddle, get a little bigger. And it does blend with the underlying color. So you can go back and forth you can even kind of erase out with it a little bit, and it will just keep building up, puddling around. Good background kind of brush, but you can use it, if you would like, of course, to do some sketches too. And if you can see, these little lines are really, 
really quite attractive. So most of these birds are, are very, very versatile. What I've showed you is just kind of the basic stroke with the basic size of the brush. And uh, you really are limited only by your imagination and how you want to use them. These sketching brushes, you really pretty much should be able to draw anything you would like. And uh, they will add some good tools to your arsenal of brushes and the techniques that you do. So those are the new sketch brushes for painter. And hope you enjoy using them.